Hi, I'm Emily from Rev Robotics, and today we're going to go through the general best practices for maintaining and troubleshooting your robot. Whether you have a class bot like this robot over here, or a control system component like a Spark Max motor controller, the general best practices for maintaining and troubleshooting these control system components is going to be the same across the board. One of the first steps to maintaining and troubleshooting your control system should be making sure that all of your control system components have up-to-date software. For Rev products, you can use our Rev hardware client as your one-stop shop to make sure that all of your software is up-to-date. Each of the Rev Robotics control system components has different software that you need to maintain and make sure is up-to-date. Our control hub over here, for example, needs to have up-to-date control hub operating system, robot controller application, and hub firmware. Once you've gone through and made sure that all of your control system components are up-to-date, the next thing to do is make sure that you're maintaining the best health for your battery. If you're using a 12-volt slim battery from Rev Robotics, you can visit our product page for best practices on how to maintain and take care of your battery. If you're using a power source from a different manufacturer, make sure to visit that manufacturer's website to see if they have any best practice tips for their own power source. Once you've gone through and made sure that your battery health is being taken care of, the next thing you need to do when troubleshooting your control system is do something we like to call isolate the issue. When you have a problem with your robot, it's really a big issue that has a lot of different variables and parts at play. For instance, if you have a motor that isn't working, it can be an issue with your software, your electrical components, or your hardware components. As you're working through troubleshooting, rather than trying to change a bunch of variables at once, you should take each potential variable and source of error and isolate them and narrow down the root cause one by one. If you've gone through those steps of isolating your issue and are still having problems with your control system components, reach out to support at RevRobotics.com and we'll do our best to get you back up and running. Now that we've gone through the general best practices, you may be looking for more specific troubleshooting tips for your control system component. For Rev products, you can visit docs.revrobotics.com for more information and the specifics of troubleshooting that control system component. Have a great season and don't forget to like and subscribe.